Brothers reunion, the late Lester Flatt used to tell me some pretty good stories about you and him quitting, trying to quit smoking back oh, a yeah. few years ago. And I want you to tell us some of those stories here after a while. Would you do that? Sure do it. We used to make a lot of bets on that, but I always won. <laughs> I did. <laughs> we'll get a hollow. That's, that's some wonderful stories. Another nice hand for Mr. Hollow Brown here. Yeah. One of the all time greats. Thank you, Hollow. I want to bring out a, a very good friend of mine that's uh, done a lot for the bluegrass music and traditional country music down through the years and still doing a lot of good work. And we're always proud to get to run up and do a show with him and introduce him. In fact, he sold Flatten Scruggs the first vehicle, a 1939 Ford station wagon. Jim Eames. I want you to bring Jim out here. Nice to have Jim. Thank you, sir. How you doing, Jim? I'm doing fine. Somebody told me you sold Lester and Earl the first vehicle. Well, I didn't, Ford station wagon. didn't exactly sell it to him till later. I just loaned it to him. <laughs> <laughs> but Jim, Jim, he drove it for about nine months, and he said, this thing ain't no good. I said, well, keep on driving it. You <laughs> might like it. Yeah, you might like it. <laughs> but Jim, Jim was one of the original Foggy Mountain boys when uh, Lester and Earl formed. They got Jim in Danville, and you went to Hickory, then... Uh, no, no, we went into Danville and stayed about four weeks, and they left and went to Hickory and picked up Jim's shoemate. <laughs> yes, but we worked, uh, me and Cedric and Lester and Earl, we were the, we were the honchos then. And yeah. We worked about four weeks, and then I got a telegram from Bill. You, you were a bluegrass boy, right? Yeah, I was I went, I got to be one of bluegrass boys then. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I learned my lesson. <laughs> I, I noticed, noticed you, uh, the, the song that you had written several years ago, and I was telling Bill Vernon a while ago, I knew who I was going to borrow my money from tonight. I want to congratulate uh, the song that you wrote that Ricky Skaggs recorded, made number one year a while back. This man wrote it. Nice hand for Jim. I, I, I got two or three dollars. Uh, Jake Tullock said a minute ago, I got two or three dollars left. We'll go get us a sardine sandwich. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jim. Old Jim will be working here with you tomorrow. He's, he's a good man. Well, it's always a pleasure and an honor to get to introduce these boys right here. They're some of my very best friends and have been down through the years. And fortunate old Curly Seckler is one of the all-time greats in bluegrass music. He was a, a great Foggy Mountain boy and a great Nashville grass man and a great tenor singer, good lead singer. And all these fellas are just perfect gentlemen right along with their music. And I want you to give them a great welcome here tonight. Curly Seckler and his Nashville Grace. Oh. Testing, testing.
trees and leave
some neighbors that asked over at our record table. And by the way, we'd like to say thanks to all you wonderful people that came by and shook hands with us and bought our albums and the biography of Lester Flatt. We hope that you will enjoy the reading in the book and the sound that you will hear in our albums. We appreciate it so much. And two, uh, some of the neighbors wondered where we were going to be picking at our next time in, down in this part of the country. We'd like to tell you September the 17th would be over in Sherrall, South Carolina on the Jones Brothers Festival over there. That's in Sherrall, South Carolina, the 17th of September. Now the program over there runs uh, uh, Friday and Saturday, but the Nashville Grace will only be there Saturday the 17th. We got time for two more numbers, right? We better make them two good ones then, hadn't we? <laughs> All right, well, let's do us one, will you? All right, thank you so much, Curly. We'll uh, do a solo number then. One in time, Johnny, if you're ready, I'll never love another. some of the old numbers up 
the old time way. And we're going to be doing that as long as I'm standing on a stage with the Nashville grass. Right. We're never going to change it. We're going to leave it down to earth. And uh, here's one of the old numbers. I don't know. If, this is probably in your album, isn't it, Johnny? But oh, I got fiddling banjo in it, and he's got one number in mind, but he don't like to sing it because he might forget the words. <laughs> old Joe, <laughs> that's a good one. Here it is, boys. Do it up the old time way. Leather bridge. Worries on my mind. 